Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Rogue Tech where today we are going to refit the Chameleon or not refit it, fit it up ready for battle for its first battle and we're going to do that straight away but there is a few things we need to do along the way nice to uh, see one of which is make board. money we're going to do that by because it's never going to see the lights of day again we're going to stop the work on this Phoenix Hawk. It got hit hard last time out. Didn't get completely blown up. But it's not looking so good. So let's go take a look at it. Yeah, we, we lost all the good stuff basically. The Clan SRM6, the Vulcan ammo, gone. The high explosive bombs, yeah, they were good, gone. Yeah, bright blue, medium laser thingy, gone. Um, I mean, it's defensive gyro is there, which is helpful. All the headgear is still there. And the AMS is there, the advanced AMS is there. And we've got some arrow fours, which is good. But yeah, don't care for it. It's going to get scrapped. All the equipment should. Um, the next components will be stored and the chassis is removed permanently from your inventory. Yes. Have that. Goodbye. So that's gone. Next up is we can actually build a kit fox. We've got four to choose from. The F, the B, the E and the S. It's obviously not set up in alphabetical order. Uh, let me read out what they come with. So let me bring this up. So... The S variant, we're going to go alphabetical backwards, comes with a large pulse laser, medium pulse laser, a small pulse laser, and a streak SRM4 and a pair of machine guns. Doesn't say that it comes with anything fancy other than that. The F and the E variant, the F comes with Hyper Assault 20 Gauss Rifle. Uh, it comes with at least two bins of ammo, because I know um, I've got two bins from when I fought it, and two medium pulse lasers. So that's a pretty good one. The E variant comes with an ATM-3, six jump jets, yay, and an ERPPC. We've already got two of those. Already got two of those, but that's not a very good one. And the B variant is probably the one that I'm gonna go with because it comes with an Ultra Auto Cannon 10, an ER medium laser, an ER small laser, and an SRM-6. Now, an Ultra 10, I will not be able to put on any of the mechs I've currently got, but first 60 tonner that has a ballistic hard point will get the Ultra 10, which is preparing for the future, basically. In all fairness, all the ballistic weapons I've got can't actually go on most of the mechs I've got. So... The other option is the laser, the I think the F variants with the pulse lasers. No, that comes with the HAG-20, it's the E variant. No, it's the S variant. Oh, it does actually say here now what it comes with. Well, there you go. We learnt that the hard way. So... Large pulse, streak SRO4, medium pulse laser, small pulse laser, and two machine guns. Yeah. I mean... The large pulse laser is going to come in handy. The medium pulse lasers will still come in handy on the next few mechs that we build. Um, no, we're going to go with the B variant so I can get the Ultra 10. I do like my ballistics and they are always fun. So it's using up most of the parts that we have. Which is fine. Now, not going to keep the mech. It's literally for the equipment. So let's hope that we get something good out of it. And it's completely destroyed. So the head is. Sense also. <gasps> the Ultra 10 is repairable. The SRM 6 is there. The clan ammo is there. And ah, the ammo's gone. So what actually is on this? Just that arm and an Omni hand. 
Hmm, kind of sucks, but so be it. It's gonna get me a little bit of money. Uh, yeah, 114,000. So, we're basically back to. our crap farms. No, we're not. Yeah. 30 tonner, 30 tonner, 40 and a 50 tonner. Terrible. Absolutely terrible lines. For going up against clan, terrible. Uh, let's actually go forward the three days. It gets the Kit Fox up and running, which has got another critical. Don't think did it get didn't get hit hard last time. Now it's just a leg that got broken, so we can fix that straight away. I'm going to leave it as it is because I don't think it needs much doing to it at the moment. Shouldn't be too hard. You, I have your build ready, so. Perfect world would be something along the lines of, well, possibly two ER PPC clans. Going in there and there. And then we have the Radical Pri Pirate Proto Double Heat Sinking Kit. Obviously, we put an engine in here. Um, I think we'd only need something like around the 200 mark. But we only have one proto double heat sink, so we're not yet not cooling this mech properly, unfortunately. So we are going for. I have this in a picture already to go because it was confusing the hell out of me. So if we go, no. Okay, let's go back. Although it probably wouldn't be quicker for me to do it manually at this rate, but we max the armor, leave these weapons on here for the moment due to heat efficiency and then I want um, what well, can basically be a 240 engine core maybe a bit bigger than I wanted can't put the XL in there because we don't have the money we will be putting the Proto Radical Heat Sink in there ready for when we have more Proto Double Heat Sinks. And then we're going to put Heavy Ferro in for the minus 20% armor weight. And then Clan Ferro, which we have four of, which is perfectly fine. Now, do I, I think I'm going to go with um, the Dreadnought Gyro because that gives us a Bulwark. Uh, grants Bulwark, so increases damage reduction from guarding, grants Entrenched after walking, and gives us minus 10% damage taken. So we would get minus 50% from there alone. Already looking good. Means that if we get shot, we'll get shots very little. We are then going to go with um, Upper Recoil. Not because of the recoil negatives that these guys get, but for the plus one arm mounted weapon accuracy. So we're getting plus one accuracy here. We're going for Upper Hardened, so that's minus 55% damage taken. And 5% resistance to criticals, which is always helpful. And then, uh, I don't need anything there. We are going for the Fire Control Advance. Gives us breaching shots. Might come in handy. My 10% um, jam chance doesn't really help and improves offensive push accuracy by two. May well help. Then we're going with gunnery and energy, because this is an energy boat. It makes sense. We will then be going for a low tier ECM because just weight efficiency, basically. We don't have enough weight efficiency. We need an XL engine here in here, really, to make it work. Then we're going for gunnery A, gunnery B. And a rangefinder for three more gunnery from that alone. Another fire control system, so sensors will be sensor tracker. Although sensor sniper would be pretty good. But sensor tracker gives us plus two accuracy at long range and extreme range. Nothing to medium range, unfortunately, but I think that's pretty good. Then we're going to put the UAV in here because of lack of other stuff to do. I can have for up there and some a little bit of missile defense with chat countermeasures. So have I forgot anything? Yes I have. 
I have forgotten. We are going down to hundreds lead armor and 55 there and then we have a tag going in. Done. 50 tons, 14 days unfortunately. That's because I'm putting stuff like um, heavy ferro in which costs not too much but just takes some days basically. Heat efficiency is not perfect, but we'll get we'll be able to manage that I think because we got the proto the um, yeah the proto heat sink unit part of the heat kit. Yes, which gives us minus thirty heat per turn when active when over eighty percent. We shouldn't get there too quickly unless it's a hot planet or we get flamed. But there we go. So that is done. Oh, and it's not going to be ready till the next, next financial time. report, annoyingly. But we have got the Phoenix coming up. And so in two days, we are ready to go once again. And in four days, we will have the Mech Bay. Actually, I kind of want you quicker. So four days. We will wait. It's fine. And do I want to get rid of some garbage whilst we are here? I think I do. I'm going to keep all these because eventually I'm going to see if I can actually get them to work properly. Uh, you can go. It's a 15 tonner with 220 armor. It's going to die if we field it. I guess it's a little bit of money. Heavy tracked thing, just machine guns. No, nope. gets us a little bit of money. And that is a solitaire. You can go. And the yellow jackets. Gonna keep that guy because it has a decent weapon system. Doesn't have much armor, and the Pegasus. Actually, not a bad thing. Just not very well armored. And an Indra. I mean, both of those are reasonable, so we'll keep them for now. And yeah, I think we're done with the selling of stuff. Although, actually, there is one thing that I want to get rid of, a couple of things I want to get rid of, and they are... Oh wait, that's buying, nope. You want to sell... some stuff here. I'm going to sell one endo steel because I don't need that many. I sell one of those. We got the clan ones. We keep getting clan ones. So that's good. Uh, the engines aren't here, are they? I keep forgetting to put um, lower arm actuators on my kit fox. Otherwise, it'd have plus one accuracy with all its weapon, most of its weapons. Sensor trackers that will stay because I do like those. Although having three of them feels a bit overkill. Uh, no engine cores. So the one seven five can go. Uh, that one can go because it's broken. But otherwise, I'll keep the other two hundred. Two twenty can stay. One of the two fifties can go. And we're getting a good, good bit of money, which is helpful. And then one of these guys can go, because that will get us a lot of money. And 15 double heat sinks. Let's sell five of them, because I probably won't use them very often. I think I'll sell one of the clan double heat sink kits. In actual fact, because we're doing so well on money, I'm tempted to wait for my mech, my chameleon to be ready, so we can field it. 12 of these. I don't think I'm going to need that many. Let's sell six of them. I mean, look at that. We would barely, we barely had any money a minute ago. Now we've got loads. And I'll keep all that stuff. We we'll keep all the weapon systems. In all fairness, let us. Um... So you have to wait four days anyway. Those upgrades you asked for. Are online, Commander. Do I just wait the nine days and get the chameleon? And drop the 
something. Because let's see what missions are left. Greetings, Commander. Come on in. I want to be doing one scale missions, and we can't do them because we just don't have the armor on the battlefield. So I think I'm going to wait the nine days. It might seem a little wasteful, but in all fairness, I think it's the better option because the lance we have I've is so terrible. And since we have so much money, it's not too bad. And I should have done a upgrade. What are we going for? I know it was the third bay mech bay to be working at full efficiency. Yes. Roger that, Commander. I'll get the crew moving. What's that one? A machine shop plus three tech points. We'll get that one next, obviously. But yeah. Four more days and we are ready to go. Uh, target practice. We have a request to set up live shooting range. Darius says in the staff meeting, Hardcase says the pressure safe target pistols aren't sufficiently realistic to keep the mechware skills sharp. That said, I'm not sure if the Argo has an appropriate location for that kind of thing. For what? An indoor firing range? Dr. Mar tilts her head, her brow furrows. I believe that I can find a spot in Gamma Pod. It's still a mess over there anyway. Use an armor plate as a backstop. Yes, it should be fine. Um, let's set up the targets in range. Hard case gains 100 XP. That's actually quite handy. And three more days. Awesome. We have wasted a bit of time, but actually I think we are okay for it. So, let's see. Can anyone get... What? No. Yes, you can get some experience. Training confirmed, Commander. Uh, Joker. More tactics. Yeah, might as Met well. Warrior training complete. Now, uh, Mr. Bubble is going to go straight here, I would say, and get one of those two feats, basically. Training complete. Although we can actually get this. Yeah, we're going to get this because I need the better se sensor and sight thing training so that you can actually command. shoot well. And the only other mech warrior I want is you doing the things. And I think I'll have the tacticians there as well. Cool. So, command center. Let's see what missions we've got. A couple of nice, easy missions, please. That's a recovery, and we don't get many recoveries. So, yeah, let's go for a nice, easy-ish recovery. So, let me drop in four mechs. I'm going to get rid of the lamb, and I'm thinking... You're going to take over. So... Plus one invasion, ignore. That's good. I think, yeah, you're just going to step in there. We actually have Mr. Bubbles back as well. Ooh, you have plus one missile, missile evasion, ignore. So you definitely need to be going on a missile boat. Damn. You kind of need to be going on the Kit Fox, because although you'd probably die as soon as I put you on there. But we all, I've got to remember that one, because that's a good one to remember. And you have affinity, don't you? Yes. But you literally have no skills apart from being able to run a uh, DNI cockpit later on. And. Okay, let's just deploy with what we've got. So let's go in, let's have some fun, and let's kick some ass. We are one and a half skulls. 170 tons. This is, uh, we're getting there. We're nearly at 200 tons of drop deployment. Who knows? We might get to the point where we can drop a fifth mech before we get a, another vehicle, basically. And I'm thinking it's probably going to happen, in all fairness. It's probably going to happen because we 
just aren't taking the vehicle parts. And all the vehicles that I'm seeing are generally um, 4x4 trucks with the occasional good one. But then we don't get all the parts for it, so there's, we might as well take the better equipment. But over time, we will gather enough parts of the same vehicles that I will be able to build some. It just takes a lot longer for vehicles because you don't really want them. Unless you find something that is good. Which is this early in the game in the well, this early in the game in the playthrough, it's very unlikely that you see something good. Uh, a mortar carrier would be handy. A LRM carrier would be handy, but again, you don't see them very often. I'm thinking and I'm hoping. Yeah, they extract the infected carrier mech so that we can analyze the virus. That sounds awesome. But I think it's, it should only be one recovery hard point. Or well, hard point um, site. So we only have to worry about one lance. We may well get a second lance because it is. Reactive plans we're facing, but I'm hoping online. not. Online. All systems nominal. We are done. So yeah, there's only one. Command interface initiated. And well, I'm going to drop on the back side of this hill so that there's no direct line of sight. Hopefully we skip a few turns and they start moving so we can start shooting them. We have a few allies. Oh no, wait. We... Ah, freaking gnomes. Battle armors. Hate them with a passion. It might not be clans we're facing. It could well be, though. I didn't. I don't remember looking. I was looking at who I was working with. That is a storm crow, by the way. That is clans and yes they are moving solitaire stinger solitaire mongoose falcon nothing truly scary which I don't mind half the time you have a cougar a storm crow a and a, a hussar ER large laser ultra 20 storm crow like it the Cougar is its main weapons are three medium pulse lasers. And then you guys, you probably won't actually do anything, but for who order. knows. Okay, well most of them have gone. Shall we see what kind of hit chance we get? All an F. Reasonable hit chance. Let's fire. Not quite a boom. But actually, we got a tag on him, so that's going to help us. See, this is where I've been failing as well. I haven't been putting tags on mechs, therefore I haven't been giving myself increased hit chances. You're going to jump. See if you can follow up. You might be able to. Okay, maybe not. Uh, it's gone up now that we've got line of sights. And yeah, we'll fire. Copy that. Firing alpha. Everything missed. Bad luck. It, it sucks, but it's expected. Come on, then. Kit Fox will not get direct line of sights. We'll go there. On the move. And we'll try and break that arm off. Roger that. A We've got the hand off, not the arm, though. What Joker as you? my last... Um, lamb. Let's see... What happens when we go here? Moving out! Go boom! All weapons are go! <laughs> oh yes! So he's down. Now it's a fair fight. It's four on four because, like I said, our allies aren't going to do too much down there. Yeah, 
Goody, goody, a miss. Okay, Don't right, let's try this again, see if you get a good hit chance again. You're not even getting line of sight at the moment, so... Maybe we hold on with you. Hey. And Vulcan can jump, I think will, if a line of sight presents itself. Which it doesn't. So we're gonna reserve both of you. I don't think there's any points moving around unless we get no hit chance, let no line of sight at all. There we go. Now we're gonna get a hit chance and well we took sixty-eight damage, I think that was. Oh, you're the heavy, large laser thing. So that should have been 80 damage, but it was reduced by... Actually, it was only reduced by about 15%. So we didn't get Bulwark, did we? Did we sprint? We might have sprinted. I hear you. Um, well, I might as well go after the Falcon because oh, that's a terrible hit chance. It's a bit better. That's much better. Yeah, we'll go here. Firing everything I've got. Boom. No boom. Yes, going for this guy could have meant that we took him out before he got a go. But in all fairness, we didn't have the hit chance to do that. So, receiving you. Let's see what we can do here. Well, that is the best hit chance we're getting by the looks of things. Which kind of sucks, actually. Is that because we got no sensors? No, it's just because he moved so fast. There, we still connected. Well, I like it. Well, they did some damage, but they also did some damage to me. Damn you, friendly firing friends. What no? And we can try and go there. Okay, firing everything. We did hit, just not yes, commander. very much. And this is probably a bad idea. I mean, I got 47 there. Yeah, this guy is easier to hit because he hasn't moved as far. Knocking on. Boom, no boom, sadly. Right, so just two allies left. They do nothing, fine. We are getting more accurate at the moment, which is very handy indeed. You are hot, so hopefully you don't do too much this turn. But you are going in my butt. And again, no bulwark. Losing armor. But that's a shutdown, so that's that is very good indeed. And wow, all of these guys are initiative seventeen. Who is my one guy, the Vulcan at initiative seventeen? Let's hope the six evasion holds out. Or they just run away. This is this is another option. Hey. Uh, I'm gonna go up here because this side of him is broken. So we'll go for the face, just in case we get lucky. No. no. That looked like a critical hit. Nope, nope, nope. 
Yes, then these two, again, hopefully they don't do too much to my one guy on their own. They should. Oh no. They're going for the kit fox. An exposing structure. This is why the kit fox needs to go. It's just not good enough. Again, it's only a 30 tonner, so. And we are trying to go up in. Um, difficulty, so it's not going to hold out, especially when we're only dropping four things. So there's not just. It's not just. Waiting on you, Commander. Me being salty, it's. There are reasons why it's not working, and. We will eventually fix those reasons. I think. Yeah, we're going to take out the Moving mongoose. The it did some damage to my kit fox, so it needs to be punished accordingly. Commencing alpha strike. Okay, that wasn't very punished. Sadly. I mean, well done for getting in the fights. But you didn't do anything. Orders? Hmm. That's a good hit chance, but I think I would rather Got it. get rid of it. Also, we are cool keeping ourselves cool, so that's good to know. On it. Yeah. Goodbye. Enemy down. That was easy enough. And we do have the kit fox left, I believe. Yes. Receiving you. So if I go, ah, I'm not getting line of sight to this the mongoose. Fine. We'll go there, and we'll protect our arm that's open. And we might as well take the shot. See if we can break anything. We've got the arm. Reporting critical hit. Noise. Okay, Mr. Mongoose is... A good old think of what it wants to do. It wants to do 21 damage to my chameleon. How annoying. So the annoying thing is, the chameleon's going to be out of action for a long time because it's got a, um, it's taken enough damage that it's going to take a long, a few days to get it fixed up and up and running because of the heavy, heavy pharaoh, basically. And uh, you're dead, basically. That was worth uh, worth you distracting the enemy for me. I like it. Thanking you very much, Commander. And I'm thinking we don't stand and shoot. No, we move backwards one square or one hex and fire. Locking up. No boom. Oh, well, they did something, and they hit. I hear you. So, I ain't gonna complain. Okay, I'll go in the back of these guys. Received. Fire! Take this. Not a kill, but I'm here. It's close enough. And. Yeah, go there. Three mages, I'm not perfect. bad, considering we moved about three or four hexes. And this should okay. be a kill. I'm no, it's just a leg. Do it. Could well be a punch out, though, because he hasn't got much left. I can predict the future. Sadly, I cannot predict oh, wait, the winning order. lottery numbers. No. Can I not get a direct line of sight? Not unless I sprint, apparently. Ooh, backstrike. But no hit chance. So 
So if I sprint, that's 11 on you, 18 on you. So actually, sprinting and getting that line of sight and getting a back strike is the best option I've got. And have that. I don't think we did much. Luckily, our allies have still got to go, so they might be able to take this guy down. That was to the buildings. Well done, you. That was a friendly fire headshot on the storm crowd. Luckily, the Ultra 20 missed everything, including me. Okay, two evasion and going there. It's probably the best idea. And fire! So he's gone! And yes, I have been shooting so much that I have kind of been destroying everything. So I there isn't be. much salvage, unfortunately. And how big is the ping? Does he count as being in that? Let's see. No, it's just short. Hey. Okay, can I... I can get a line of sight, good. Oh, here we go. I hope this hurts. Ah, oh, nothing. It is a shame, but hey. He gets one more chance to do something. And doesn't do anything. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, you can't see from there, that sucks. No sweat. And fire! This should be good. No boom. Sadly, no boom. But allies have no indirect fire. So... I'm here. And yeah, we'll go there. Copy. Go as close as we can and... Get a good hit chance. Targeting for an alpha strike. We're hitting the fresh side of him, basically, so that wasn't really all that impactful. Chameleon. Could well. No. We have tagged it, so. Awaiting orders. Yeah, we should get. We should get an explosion of some kind now because we're hitting his already weakened sides. Whoopsie. Inflicted some heavy Oh yeah. There goes half the mech. Although I think we broke the arm on the other side by the looks of that. Yeah, never mind. Winning on you, Commander. We're done anyway. We're gonna get here and we are good. I think I've just gotta wait for the allies to do nothing. The asset has been secured. Yes. And is ready for retreat. Yay! So, a quick mission. Yeah, um, having a second lance there would have made the mission a challenge, but I th still think we would have been able to do it. Because, effectively, the only one that took real damage was the Chameleon. And we didn't really get that much in the way of money, but never mind. So, what do we take? Do we take mech parts? We have... Solitaire parts. Large heavy, medium heavy, medium lasers. Medium laser magnets. Basically does more damage and more heat. Stun those PPC. Yeah, nothing of interest, basically. So, I mean, double heat sinks will be good for later on. Clan Ferro, we don't actually have any Clan Ferro, so let's take that. Um, how expensive were the engine cores? Six, 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 six. 
600,000, okay. Snub Nose PPC isn't too bad. 6 tons, 60 damage, 30 heat, and a decent range of 780 max. You, on the other hand, 4 tons, 80 damage, but 67 heat. And an anti-air factor of 10%. I'm thinking I take the solitaire just to build it and sell it. That'll get me a little bit of money. There isn't any Omni Mech parts, no. And just out of interest, well, no mongoose parts. Falcon, I have one part. Stinger, I've got nothing. Okay. Yeah. So, that's the only one we can build. I'm going to take the Snubnose PPC and Beagle Probe. No, maybe we take... Standard Clan Fire Control Systems aren't too bad. I'll take that for some money. I think that's probably the most expensive thing there. I mean, we are getting... All of this to sell, basically. We get a large, heavy laser. So we've got two of those now. More medium lasers, I'll sell them. A small laser can go. Beagle Probe can stay. Starly Cockpits item. Yeah, might as well keep it. Yeah, that can go. The other engine core can go. You can go. Um, I'll keep one of those. Yay, a single heat sink and a standard fusion core gonna keep that because we can put that into the Phoenix because that's a primitive engine. But yeah, I mean we made a little bit of money but we got another mission in the books basically. I need something. I needed to drop five things now to be able to go any further or to get some really good mechs. So we're going to have to go up to one and a half still at some points. Because these missions are not... Just not doing it anymore for us. They're not giving us anything worthwhile. And... Yeah, we'll leave it in that order. In a few days, we're going to get the third mech bay anyway, but not in time for that. So that is done. That is in the books, and the solitaire. Let's build it now and see what it comes as. A keeping it, it's there to be sold, but it could potentially get us some more money. So its head is, but well, I don't think it comes. With, I don't think we're getting anything out of it. No, we are literally getting nothing out of it. <laughs> Fine. Okay, so we get nothing out of it, but we do get 67,000 sea bills. Goodness, nearly to the 2 million mark. Yeah, okay. Right. I think on that note we shall end the video, so... It is slow progress at the moment, but this is where we need to just keep going, keep grinding, and eventually we'll get to that one thing that allows us to uh, bolster our ranks and push forward a bit and get to the next stage where we can get bigger mechs and fight bigger battles, basically. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I shall see you next time for some more mech destruction.